Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Let's Play. We are playing on Revengeance mode, doing a bow only playthrough. We've got a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be working on today. First off, we're going to be trying to fight Astrum Diaz. I want to quickly show you a few things I've been working on between episodes. The first is the Terra Arrows. They're a Calamity Arrow that I've crafted, and Napalm Arrows. So the Terra Arrows look like this. They explode into all these other arrows. Pretty sweet. It seems like it's going to do a lot of damage. And then let's switch to Napalm. Napalm just does a huge explosion like that. Really cool stuff. They're really easy to craft. The Terra Arrows are just the life shards from Plantera, and Napalm is just Essence of Chaos, Torches, and Arrows. I've also created an unlimited ink core arrow, and if you see, I've got a stack of over 4,000 of these other arrows. I installed a max stack mod, which allows the stacks to be more than 999. With the Louis AFK mod, once when you get a stack over 4,000, it won't actually use up your arrows anymore. So that's just a quality of life thing. It's like crafting an unlimited Terra arrow. I also crafted the unlimited combat buffs, which basically just took the four unlimited combination buffs that I had on the left and combined them with a few others. And I've moved all of my stacks of 30 potions that I've been using into my pig safe. So let me show you. I have them right here. That also clears up space and you can see those effects are still active. I also cleared up an arena for when we go into post Moon Lord. This will allow us to fight Providence. It'll be a nice arena for us. Let's go head over to the astral meteorite and see if we can spawn Astrum Diaz. I think these atlases are what we need to kill in order to spawn the boss. So we've killed one, I think it's two or three that we need to kill. This arrow seems really sweet. These are homing in on the enemies. You have to hit them and then the arrows will home in on anything nearby. It seems like there's a range to it. I may put on a zerg potion and that way we can just quickly get a bunch of these atlases to spawn and then we will start this boss fight up so i don't really have a plan for the boss i think i'm just going to try to run because i know this boss is pretty dang crazy Ooh, i do not want to run into a lunar event though oh, okay this is gonna be hard But we're doing some pretty good damage. Wow, it's lagging. And we'll put on some adrenaline. Use our Discord. Reset our flight. And see if we can take this battle into space. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not good. I'm gonna pop a heal. And try to dash through this. Use our Discord. Discord is very helpful in this boss fight. I think I'm just gonna kite them, because that seems to work the best. But this ground is so uneven. What I don't want to do is bring them all the way back to my base and kill all my NPCs, but we'll see. May have to do that. Or we'll turn around once when we get to our snow biome. Okay, there's another... Oh no. What? We got one second until we can heal. Man, I don't know why it's so laggy. Okay, so we've healed up. Okay, we really need to play this safe. I don't know where all the other little guys are. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. And I died at 5%. That was so close, but so sloppy. That was just crazy lag. The frame rate totally dropped off there. I wonder if it's these arrows I'm shooting or something. Or if it's just the boss. Okay, here we go. Let's get this started. This time, no messing around. We are going to kite and discord. And repeat. Switch them around. Okay, we're doing much better this time. Just this kiting strategy is what we need to be focused on. Good. I need to get down out of the sky. Okay, we turned around a little bit too quick because we're getting tons of the projectiles still in our way. I'm gonna pop a heal early. And we'll get out of there. Oh, used my discord wrong there. Okay, we got some action going on here. This is getting pretty intense. Okay, I think we got him. Yes! <laughs> we got him. Whew, that was a lot. Oh my goodness. That was actually a pretty intense boss fight. Since we've beaten the boss... By the way, I'm using napalm arrows right now. Oh, we need to turn off Zerg. I was wondering why there's so many enemies. So now that we've beat the boss, we can actually mine this astral ore. And with our vein miner, we'll be able to get so much of it. And it looks like this sand has made a bit of an issue. These arrows are actually really fun, the napalm ones. Okay, well I think I got most everything right here. We have 532 astral ore. So let's head back to base and see what we can craft. Now we can take a look at what we got from our boss. We've got our treasure bag right here. Obviously we've got all that ore. And then we have the lore piece, which says place in your inventory to gain increased movement speed in space. 
So that's a good one to have. I'll probably put that in my safe. I think post Moon Lord, there's a boss that fights in space. So that'll be a good one to have for that. And then we have just an astral infection biome lore piece. Doesn't do anything, but we'll put that away. And let's see what we got in our bag. So we got the Astrum Dias mask. We have astral bulwark. It says taking damage drops astral stars from the sky, provides immunity to astral infection debuff. And then we got forceful starfall. Whoa, it's pretty cool. And some stardust. So the main thing we need are these astral bars. So let's make a whole bunch of them. And let's see what we can make. So right off the bat, we can craft an astral ham axe, an astral pickaxe, an astral staff for magic, and then there's a blade, pike, blaster, and a bow. Definitely want that bow. Let's see what that bow does. Interesting, it's, it's a lot like Phantasm. I love the look of it with the fire and ice. Very cool. And let's see what we can do for armor. Looks like we need to craft armor using meteorite and the astral bars. Oh, we can also do wings, but we need to get this membrane. So let's craft this. It's a one size fits all armor set. It doesn't have a bunch of different helmets. I kind of like that. We currently have 110 defense. And if we equip this, we have 124. That is really impressive. And our bow is 153 right now. And before it was 150. So it's given us a little bit of damage, but a lot more defense. The set bonus says 25% increased movement speed. And it says 28% increase in damage, 21% increase in crit strike. Whenever you crit an enemy, fallen, hollowed, and astral stars will rain down. This effect has one second before it can trigger again. Really cool. I like this set. I really want to craft these wings because they look like they've got really good speed and it also increases movement and jump speed while wearing the astral armor. So I definitely want to give them a try, but we need to find these Hadarian membranes. And I think those drop from little pterodactyl creatures in the astral biome. So I'm going to head right back there and farm that up real quick. After about 10 minutes, I figured out how to get those darn pterodactyls to spawn. Because when I would fight right here, even with a zerg potion, they wouldn't spawn for anything. So it turned out I had to stand right back in this corner and then they would start spawning. So I've got all of the membranes I need now. And I've gone through several inventories full of Titan arms and all sorts of stuff. Now I got 607 astral ore in addition to all the stuff I mined earlier, and almost 800 Stardust. So, yeah, lots of farming there. Let's head back to base, craft these wings, and hope that they were worth the trouble. Here we go. And while we're at it, I think I may just upgrade our hammocks. I'm not sure if there's any reason to get an Astral Pickaxe, but we've got so much ore, we might as well. It's kind of a cool look. It's actually got a little bit more pickaxe power and it's got more range. So we'll switch it off for our pick saw. The Hedarian wings have a 0.5 increase in horizontal speed, 0.25 less acceleration multiplier on the Hedarian wings. They both have good vertical speed and the flight time is 60 less on Hedarian. But the increased movement speed and jump speed might actually be worth it. Let's let's see how it feels. It does actually feel like I'm moving faster. Yeah, I think these wings are actually better. 
They don't fly as long, but I think they will end up being more useful. The last pillar is right here, and I'm thinking of starting the fight right around here and just basically just kite the Moon Lord across the map, similar to what I did with Astrum Dias, and kind of circle back right here before he destroys all of my people. I think I've got enough movement speed to make that happen, but this is gonna get in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and mine all this up and destroy this island. Then we will get this solar pillar destroyed and fight the Moon Lord. So now, as you can see, we have a clear space above our astral biome. And I think I may actually clear off some of this too. There's a lot of things that have kind of been in my way here. Let's go check out the solar pillar. I know I need to stay grounded for those worm things whenever they come by. Bebo might be the better thing to use here. I'm gonna switch off my counter scarf and use the bees. Yeah, the Bebo seems to be working a little bit better. This seems to be a pretty good position, just using my arena from Skeletron. And it keeps most of the ground enemies from hitting me, and then I'm able to just have the bees take them all out. This used to be the most frustrating pillar for me until I figured out how these worm things worked. All right, let's see if the pillar is ready to go. And it is, sweet. Let's take this out and get ready for a hard fight. It looks like we're gonna have to mine down a little bit to get the rest of these. Uh-oh. We're gonna have Moon Lord in a second. I think I'm gonna start with this bow and see how well I can do. It has been a while since I fought the Moon Lord, so I may be a little bit rusty. Here we go. And we are not doing too well right now. Doesn't seem like we've done any damage. But we can fly above him. So I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape from a mobility standpoint. Yeah, we'll be able to dodge that, no problem. I'm gonna try switching to the monsoon and see how that works. We'll just discord through that one right there. We need to hit this top eye better. Yeah, well, the top eye is what we need to focus on. Taking too many hits. Okay, we can do a heal. No, we discorded to the wrong spot. Okay, well, I don't think that's too bad though. So I learned a few things from that fight. First off, I don't think we need to be using our Plague Hive. It's probably better to either just have more damage with our Void of Extinction. We can use our Fragments to easily craft a Celestial Sigil, which will let us fight the boss again without having to do the lunar events. I was wanting to do the Martian invasion event, but it doesn't actually let you if you have a lunar event occurring at the same time. We're at the edge of our world above the ocean biome and I'm going up into space where hopefully we will find a Martian probe. Now that we got a Zerg on, 
I've made my arrows just in core so it doesn't accidentally kill the Martian probe. Here we go. We got a probe coming. And we will pick it up right there and let it get away. And we got the Martian invasion. Perfect. So I'm gonna head on back to base and let's get this going. Ooh, we already have a saucer. We need to switch to a different arrow too. Okay. Why is there a bee? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. A random queen bee joins the fight. And I'll discord through that beam. I think we might be able to kill this saucer. Sometimes these can be pretty hard. Okay, this is the hard part where they start going crazy with the beam. There we go, we got the saucer down. And what did we get? We got a cool hook, anti-gravity hook. Let's kill as many of these guys as we can. Oh, we still have, <laughs> we still have the Zerg potion on. That's why this is going so fast. I love it. like the fastest invasion ever. <laughs> we got another saucer down. And another queen bee for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I think it might be from the planetoids. got our third saucer. It'd be nice if we could get those car keys. What is this? A grenade launcher or something? So many mobs. It's like lagging like crazy. Now that we've defeated the Martian Madness event, I feel like that's a good place to stop for today. We have gotten all of our bosses all the way up to the Moon Lord. So we are ready to go for next episode. I think we've got all of the equipment we need with our new astral armor and our new wings, new bow. We've got plenty of good stuff. We just need to get a little bit more practice with the Moon Lord and we will defeat him next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.